Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome back to Xbox On. Who hasn't dreamed of getting behind the wheel of their favorite video game car, bike or miscellaneous fictional vehicle at one point or another? It's not just us, right? Well, in this video, we're going to run you through 10 of the very finest across all kinds of Xbox games that we wish were real. And as a little treat for the more eagle-eyed amongst you, we've teamed up with the thrilling new 2021 Lexus IS to include some hidden codes for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate throughout the video. So keep your eyes peeled. But before we get started, rev up those mental engines, think about your favorite in-game vehicle, and then watch on to find out if it's made the cut. <laughs> Where else could we start but with the Master Chief's trusty steed, the M12 Force Application Vehicle, or as you more likely know it, the Warthog. Three tons of liquid-cooled hydrogen-injected all-terrain action with two pals riding shotgun, or one shotgun and one mounted anti-aircraft gun. The key to driving the Warthog, as all experienced Halo players will tell you, is the e-brake. Tap on it at the right moment and you'll be able to swing around the tightest corners, avoid a crash, or steer right into one. The Warthog's a sturdy beast, which is lucky because the handling can be a little bumpy. But master those handbrake turns and she's a grunt-crushing, elite-smacking driving machine. Next up, a bit of a blast from the past for anyone who grew up blasting around Crash Cove and Coco Park. Those classic carts from Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled. Okay, so maybe they're basically just a collection of pipes held together by four wheels, but well, you can't argue with results. Namely, hitting a boost pad, zooming off a sweet jump and pulling off massive power slides where you're just in control to take first place in the final lap. And that's before we even get to the gadgets, the rockets and potions and big explosive crates. And thanks to this enormous remaster, they've been given a shiny new paint job with a ton of extra customization options to really make the cart your own. Our next vehicle predates the invention of video games as a whole. It's something that little kids have dreamed of driving for generations, and that dream has never been closer to reality than in Arkham Knight. Yes, we are of course talking about the Batmobile. The Arkham Knight version of this iconic vehicle sits somewhere between Burton's sleek speed machine and the tank-like tumbler of Nolan's Dark Knight movies. It's capable of blasting around Gotham's curved streets in pursuit mode with the help of a bat booster on the back. But switch into battle mode and you'll have access to a whole bat arsenal of bat weapons to bring to bear on baddies. But never lethally of course, old Brucey e does have one rule. The guns can only be used on robotic vehicles and the crooks that you splat on the bumper. Well, they get tasered into the bargain, so you know it's definitely non-lethal, right? Now, from a car that featured in all our childhood dreams to one that seems like the product of one very specific child's mind, namely legendary developer, head of Xbox Game Studios, Double Fine and all-round rock music obsessive Tim Schafer, the creator of Brutal Legend. Now, in case you haven't played this cult classic, Brutal Legend is an action-adventure strategy hybrid starring Jack Black set in a world of metal and was recently added to Xbox Game Pass. The head-banging, throwing up the horns kind and the kind you more traditionally build cars with enter the Juice, a hot rod from hell. Forged out of the steel flesh of the ancient beast Ormagodon, armed with a subwoofer to knock back enemies with some priests, Sabbath and Motorhead blasting on the stereo, it's like the juice has driven straight off the cover of a heavy metal album, and you summon it, how else, with a killer guitar riff. Like, come on, who wouldn't want one? Okay, so every vehicle we've looked at so far is at least vaguely car-shaped. So why don't we mix it up a bit with the Cyclone from Borderlands 3, which is technically a unicycle. But what that actually means is it's one massive bike wheel that you sit inside and then boost around in. We definitely want to take a ride in one of these, but I think it's probably sensible to put on some serious padding first. Oh, and strapped to this big bike wheel? A pair of guns, naturally. This is Borderlands after all. Before we return to the safety of four wheels on the ground, how about we drop them entirely with the Sparrow? 
These hover bikes have been the mount of choice for Guardians since the first Destiny, and here in the Beyond Light era, they're handier than ever. You can now instantly summon your Sparrow, handy for those moments when your apparent friends have left you behind in the dust, and there are more eye-catching exotic variants to unlock than ever before. But let's talk about the Sparrow itself. Is it basically just a speeder bike from Star Wars? Yeah, obviously. Does that stop it from being thoroughly awesome? Absolutely not. We started this list with a bungee vehicle, and the Sparrow proves they're still the masters of sweet rides in first-person shooters. Okay, back down to Earth sort of. Um, our next pick might not have anti-grav jets, but that doesn't mean you're going to be confined to the ground when driving it. The Octane made the leap over from Psyonix's previous game, Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars, and it's still the default vehicle and the car of choice for most pro players in Rocket League today. The Octane has a brilliant toy-like design, the kind of thing you'd expect to be chucking down a winding orange plastic track, and of course you can deck it out in all manner of decals to really make it your own. But the very best bit? Spoiler alert, it's gotta be that little sticky outy bit on the back. Now if only I could remember what they're called. Our next vehicle is also available in the Xbox version of Rocket League, but in a more of a guest star role. It's the Armadillo. This six-wheeled APC first burst onto our screens in the original Gears of War, and its design is basically the answer to the question, what if Marcus Phoenix was a Transformer? It's a thick boy, with a borderline unnecessary amount of armor strapped on, and a shovel that basically gives it the vehicular equivalent of a roadie run. In more recent years, it's been nudged out a little by Gears 5's equally excellent skiff, but the armadillo still retains a special place in the car showroom of our hearts. From old favorites now to a car that has just recently pulled up on Xbox consoles. The Quadra Turbo RV Tech is Cyberpunk 2077's signature vehicle, and for good reason. If you were looking for a perfect example of its cutting-edge 80s tech vibe, you couldn't do much better than this turbocharged V8 engine mashup of the DeLorean and Kit from Knight Rider. But honestly, we were sold the moment we saw those red strip brake lights. Breathtaking. And if you want to take the VTEC out of Night City and over to the Cotswolds, well, now's your chance because it recently made a cameo in Forza Horizon 4. It's totally free, but you will have to earn it with an in-game race. Okay. We've done four wheels, one wheel, no wheels. How about infinite wheels? That's what you get when you're driving a Snakey Bus. From the video game, Snakey Bus. It's a unique blend of arcade racer and snake, where in the style of the Nokia classic, your bus just keeps getting longer and longer. Before you know it, you're dodging your own tail as you race around the streets of Paris, collecting passengers. Which is a very cool idea, but also, it's just pure fun to say out loud. Sneaky bus! And as we race over the finish line, only one question remains. Did we include your favorite? And did you find any of the hidden Xbox Game Pass Ultimate codes? Big thanks to Lexus for teaming up with us on this video. And if your engine is still running, check out this look at the new 2021 Lexus IS that delivers a connection between vehicle and driver that's more visceral than ever before. Aficionado. I'm a fashionista. Sneakerhead. Metalhead. Me? Gearhead. Audio file. Gamer. I'm a foodie. Ooh, I'm whatever this is. Obsession has many names. This is ours, the new Lexus IS. All in on the sports sedan. <laughs> Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Make sure to let us know down in the comments below which video game vehicle you'd love to take for a spin or just throw in a snaky bus because you can. And while you're at it, why not smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to stay on top of all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.